What's your name? Where are you from? And why are you here today? Uh, my name is Tijan Pokrell. I'm from Seattle. Uh, I'm just here for holiday. All right. What do you think of Donald Trump's imposition of tariffs on goods coming in from China? Uh, hmm. I think he was like putting tariffs on the stuff coming from China, right? Uh, I think it's bad for the economy in some way. Yeah, I would need like more information on that because I'm not following much more news on that. But yeah, I think uh, there are a lot of uh, companies are like backing out from the deal. So because of that, like, I think uh, it's kind of hampering the economy in some way, I know. Well, you understand the basic concept, right? Yeah. It's when China's goods come into the United States, yeah. when Chinese companies want to do business with companies in the United States, yeah. now they have to pay an extra fee to do that. They have to pay to do that. So for an American buying goods from China, yeah. they get more expensive yeah. so that money can go to the United States government. It's like yeah. an extra tax, right? Yeah. But still, you know, like you, we need goods for development, like, you know, whatever we need. And if we're getting it in a cheaper uh, in a cheaper price from China like why would they want to make it like more expensive like it's kind of I don't think like it, it makes any sense but like well he's saying yeah they are doing business so we need to charge them for they are making money so we mean we should make them pay for that uh, I mean in his head that makes sense maybe but I don't think because like it's just gonna hamper the economy in a bad way Right, because it's just money that comes out of the free market and goes to government, right? So, so it sounds like you're pretty against taxation. I mean, not pretty against. Like, people, taxing is good. It's good for, I mean, IP taxes. So, it's uh, good for uh, prosperity of the country and everything. But, uh, yeah, like, these are big, big monies. Like, he's the guy, like, who actually, like... He's benefiting from yeah, the yeah from the tax and his friends his cronies yeah right? yeah yeah okay, well let me ask you then is taxation theft uh no it's not it's not taxation is it's it's a uh, well like if you do it in a proper like if, you know like there's the two sides for, of everything like we pay a certain fare for everything but uh like if it seems fair then it's good otherwise like people can abuse the system you know okay it sounds kind of subjective i'm going to try to nail you down on this if you don't mind okay. what is your definition of theft uh theft like if you take money from people like who like they work for it but they are making Oh, I don't know. Like you just well, you just yeah. walked yourself into taxation, right? Yeah, yeah. Try, just try to divine theft because I had you thinking about taxes. You go, well, gee, theft is, yeah, right? Yeah, you're stealing money from me. Like, that's what theft is, you know? You're basically stealing so the money. Taking something that doesn't belong to yeah. you in any way, whether it's by fraud or by, by force or, or by just yeah. sneaking it away, that's theft, right? Yeah. So, doesn't that mean that taxation is theft? Uh, but, like... They, you, they need tax to progress, you know, like we need, we have system, we have services, <laughs> we have securities, like that's like we don't know, like we don't think like they exist, but like they have everything, all the workers, you know, the federal government, government workers, like they need, like we need them. Okay, okay, so, so if the mafia steals from you, the mafia like goes up to your business and says, you know, you're going to give us 10% of your revenue in cash every day yeah. because we need it to feed our families and yeah. to pay for our guns and, yeah. and drugs, whatever else the mafia is doing with that money. They need it. Is that not theft because that's they need it? That's a theft. That's a theft. Because How is that different from when, what government does then is taxing you and saying, give me 30% of your income or you're going to get locked up? Well, they do it. Bec like the like, with mafia like they just gonna use it for his benefit but like with government like they use it for the people you well, know? hold on you just said though uh -huh. that with the tariffs with donald trump uh -huh. he's the one he's taxing goods coming into the u.s yeah. and it goes to his cronies yeah. right but it goes to his cronies it goes to the people who are favored by the business system uh -huh. Well, like he's thinking as a businessman, but uh, like I'm thinking as a like this comes with a fair and unfair kind of thing. It sounds like he's thinking more like a mafia boss. Yeah, like he's thinking like that. I think okay, it's just so, in my opinion. So if if theft is taking something that doesn't belong to you, yeah. does it make it not theft if I use it for something that you like? Uh, no, still theft. still theft. Theft is a theft. theft yeah, theft. theft. So that would mean that all government taxation. Is still theft, right? Like you really can't get out of 
the the irrefutable uh, you know reality of this. Yeah, uh, well, well, <laughs> that makes oh yeah, that makes it hard. That, that was great punctuation yeah. for it. just to interrupt your thought process. Yeah, no, like yeah, like I if you put it that way, yeah, it is. But like. We need stuff. We need. We do. We definitely. But like, uh, I'm not against like taxation. Like, it's okay. okay. So, if there is a way though to achieve the legitimate things that government does with your money, because like government takes from us, government steals from us. You can yeah. say that it has good effects, yeah. right? But taxation is theft, regardless of what they spend it on and what they do with it. And every time, as as you've seen, when government is able to take money and, and you give them that power, they use some of it for things that you oh, don't like. Yeah. They use some of it for things that are unjustified. They use a lot of it for corruption, like you said, for Donald Trump's yeah. cronies, his friends who benefit from this policy. So if there was a better way of providing those services without stealing from people, would you support that? Uh, well, I wish, you know, they would be more like transparent with all, everything. Like uh, uh, if I'm like paying my taxes, you know, like don't abuse it in like, you know, just like for uh, like uh, nonsense trips, you know, like a big fashion brands for you, you know, and like a big hotels and like all that, you know, like. Well, there's plenty in government that's not transparent, yeah. but even the part that is transparent that we can see, we can see yeah. that a lot of it is getting spent on bullshit that we wouldn't want to pay yeah. for, right? Yeah. So wouldn't the, the thing that would make this legitimate, mm -hmm. instead of it being W transparent would be if it's voluntary if we get to choose exactly where our money goes because if it's transparent mm -hmm. but we don't have the right to opt out yeah. we can't say you know what that's bullshit I'm not paying for that yeah. who cares if it's transparent right yeah, well yeah I mean it makes sense but oh. <laughs> I'm really challenging you now huh? you are you are yeah <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I never thought it like that <laughs> yeah I should be thinking more well, so there's some implications of this, you know, because I think government deliberately wants you to, to think that taxation is legitimate so that you don't really question it, so that you put up with this kind of thievery yeah. that ends up promoting cronyism and supporting all the worst evils yeah. of government. So I'd like to present to you that there is an alternative where we can make it voluntary. All the things that government pays for that are legitimate that we want to have, if we didn't have government doing it, now, you know, the average, are you, you have a regular job here yeah, in Vegas? I do. Uh, no, no, not here. I'm not from here. Yeah. Right. Excuse yeah. me, in yeah. Seattle. What are you doing in Seattle? Uh, I'm, a, I'm in the military. So. Oh, you're in the military? Yeah. So. Oh, man, we're going to have to have a whole other conversation after this one. But no, so if, you, if you're already working for government, yeah, yeah. but if there was a system where you could choose where your money goes to exactly, instead of having it taken to go to things that, that you don't want it to go to, yeah. would that be better than one where they steal from us in taxation and they spend money on what they want? Wow. Well, I don't know. <laughs> well, that's freedom. Yeah. That's, that's, that's allegedly what you're, you're part of the military to protect, right? Yeah. And I hope you can recognize that, that you've been fooled uh -huh. in a very big way to think that taxation isn't theft. And right away, as soon as I challenge you on that, you're able to see the reality. Okay. But I hope now that you can think through that and realize the implications. And that if we could get to a system where we can provide the things that government provides without the theft yeah. and respected our freedom, our right to, yeah. to, to, to own property and own the, the, the value of, of our income, the, the, the product of our labor, that we'd be a lot free, we'd be a lot better off as a country, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Thank you to YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the internet. However, the next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain-based solutions, including DTube. And you can find that through Steemit.com as well as my own page there, at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized blockchain-based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your posts and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at thefreedomline.com and we'll share it on my feed.